So if you're taking our WordPress course, this video right after, uh, what we just talked about was uh, the top eight plugins that I think that every new WordPress blog should install. And so it was kind of a long video, so we went back and we we're going to talk specifically about each one. And in this one, the first one I'm going to be talking about is Jetpack. Jetpack by WordPress because there's a lot of options to it. And I'm going to show you why it's kind of valuable and why it's important to have. Right, so what you do is simply you're going to install it just like any other plugin, right? You go to plugins um, and then you're going to go add new and you're just going to type in Jetpack uh, and then that should be enough. It should be the first option. It'll be called Jetpack uh, by WordPress. And I believe it's made by, it should be made by Automatic. Yeah, Automatic right there because those are the same makers of WordPress, right? So pretty much I talked about it before, but very quickly, uh, the Jetpack, uh, I guess, plugin, what it provides is it provides you a very similar service that the WordPress.com websites have, right? They have a lot of added functionality to their websites, um, and there's many, many different options for that, right? And so, um, I guess the thing that with your self-hosted WordPress blog, one of the issues is that you lose that functionality. You use a lot of the functionality that the WordPress.com uh, blogs or websites do have. And so just to talk very briefly about some of these is, for example, if you want to add custom CSS, right, one of the things that you have to do is you probably are going to have to go it and, and change it actually in your styles.css file within your theme. So you're going to have to actually edit the theme files, right? So one thing that's good about Jetpack or WordPress.com um, websites is you're allowed to edit the CSS through the kind of, you can think of it like a mini plugin. Um, single sign-on it lets users uh, log in with their wordpress.com account so it just makes it a lot more simple if they already have a wordpress.com account they can log in or sign up um, and make comments things like that onto your website wordpress.com stats um, you know this is good just because it allows you to kind of see the stats very quickly and easily but in my opinion uh, you know you have Google Analytics for that so and I'll show you how to actually set that up in the future so it's 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 good to have but also not not completely necessary um, and so let's just scroll through uh, some of these I don't want to talk about all of them actually yeah let's just try to go as, as many as we can so the beautiful math what it does it um, uses this latex is a is a nice like software language that allows you to create uh, math equations, graphs, things like that, uh, or just formatting math, math equations or text in a much nicer, more elegant way. So it has that integration in it. Carousel allows you to have an actual carousel uh, image gallery. That's very cool. Contact form, you can imagine what that is. Custom CSS, we just mentioned that. Enhanced distribution. So what, one thing that this does is it shares your public posts and comments um, to search engines. So that's that's just a beneficial overall for you simply because you know it allows you to how do you say it um, you know just get your name out there a little bit better a little bit easier WordPress um, the jetpack functionality or jetpack tool allows that to just be a little bit simpler extra sidebars you can imagine what that is it allows you to have additional sidebars that you may not have had uh, already so um, it just has different extra sidebar widgets um, different things that you may be able to, you, you can find all of these, you know, for example, add an image. Well, you can do that simply with just a text widget. It just makes it a little bit easier. Twitter streams, you also have widgets for that as well. So, But it just makes life a little bit easier. Google Plus Profile, so it allows you to set up, you know, the actual Google Plus Profile, um, like Google Authorship, things like that. In the past, you would see actually your image of the Google author image next to the post. They, they Google got rid of that, but you never know. They might bring it back. They experiment with a lot of different things. Um, so that's very nice because it just allows it to be much easier. Uh, Gravatar hover cards. Um, so it allows kind of little pop-up cards over the comments. So all these are, as you can see, kind of just add-on uh, functionality. Um, I'm not going to talk about everything with Jetpack Commons. This is one that I do like is that uh, readers can comment with WordPress.com. They can comment with Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus accounts. So the benefit of this is that you can imagine users who, for example, we'll look at our current comment comment system. Uh, so I'm I'm logged in right now, so that's why it's going to show up differently. But what it normally has is your name, your email, 
and an optional website and then a comment, right? So they have to fill out the name of the email if we specify that, and generally you would want them to specify that. Um, and the benefit of having this jetpack of they can just log in automatically is, for example, like right now, if I'm already logged into the website, right? If you have users that are already pre-logged into the website, chances are they're going to be a lot more prone to adding a comment. Once you have to add in a website, your name, it can be quite tedious. It doesn't take that much effort, but it can still be tedious and distract from them actually adding comments. So having this Jetpack comments is potentially very beneficial. Um, as well as uh, many of these, okay, so they have the likes one, I kind of like that one as well. It gives uh, visitors a way to like a post, and I believe it also shows up on the WordPress.com profile if that's what they're using. Um, you know, there's many other ones, notifications, um, the, a better search, publicize, so it shares your new posts on social media networks automatically. In another video, I actually would talk about a plugin called uh, Next Scripts, I believe, and so it does the same function. So as you can see, a lot of these uh, functions that are built in into this Jetpack um, are all available through other plugins or other services, and so that's why people have some, you know, they have some opinions on the Jetpack service because it. I will tell you this: it does slow down your website. It does slow down your website uh, because. You can imagine if there's so much functionality, there's certain plugins that are quite heavy and will definitely decrease the load time. So in my opinion, what I would say is that uh, that's when we're going to go into the actual settings and we're going to pick and choose, right? We're going to pick and choose which ones uh, we may want, which ones we we don't want to, uh, you know, what we should leave out, right? And it depends on the user, depends on what you want. Um, and all you're going to do, for example, let's say, uh, you know, I personally kind of like that Jetpack comments. Um, and let's say I want to uh, also just have the, the, the sharing functionality and the publicized functionality um, easier, make them have an easier time to do that, right? And if say those were the only ones that I needed and that's all I should add, activate it and click apply. And that's something to mention about any plugin in general is that if you can do without it, I guess you could say, if you don't need it, don't install it just because, you know, the more that you have, the worse it'll be, I guess you could say, simply because um, not only will it make things more complex, uh, but it'll also slow down your website, right? You always have to think about performance of your website ultimately once you keep adding more and more plugins. Um, it's whether you, you come to the question of do I really need it or can I live without it, right? And probably I could live without most of these because there's other plugins that can do the same job, if the same if not better than the Jetpack plugin. But it's simply the reason why I suggest the Jetpack plugin is because especially for when you're just starting out, it provides so much functionality that you can just as simple as that, if you wanted to add the, the Jetpack co comments, all you had to do was activate it and then configure it, right? If you wanted to add infinite scroll, if you want to add Gravatar hover cards, Google Plus profile, it can do all of that, right? So that's why, in my opinion, you know, the Jetpack plugin is especially very beneficial for if you're just starting off. Later down the line, you'll probably find that, for, for example, me, I don't actually use the Jetpack plugin anymore. Uh, but when I was first starting off, I found it so useful. I found it so beneficial for, for my website and for adding these functionalities that I couldn't add in the beginning, right? So it's kind of a, you got to weigh your options of what are you looking for in a plugin. And I think that when you're just starting off, the Jetpack plugin is exactly what you're looking for because it has a lot of functionality built in into one little thing that has a very easy to use interface, right? And as you can see, there weren't many options to change, uh, to configure, and that's going to be the same for most of these other um, you know, jetpack capabilities, right? It won't have all that much options, which is a good thing, right? It's good and bad that you have options, right? When you have too much options, it makes things too confusing. When you have uh, too few options, it's, it's much more simpler, but, you know, sometimes you want that added flexibility, right? So there's definitely pros and cons to everything that we install, everything that I will show you, right? And let's see if anything will show up. Um, most of those things were in the back end, right? The publicized things like that. Um, but we'll see if anything actually did show up. Um, and so, yeah, this leave a reply, this is a new system, right? Because I'm already 
um, logged in, right? Now I can just leave a reply. And you can see how that could be much easier, right? If somebody was already lo logged into WordPress.com, this could be very beneficial for them, right? This could be very easy. I can just easily type a comment like, oh, that was so easy, right? Versus if you didn't have this and they had to log in, they probably wouldn't, they probably wouldn't even submit a comment, right? They probably just pass it by. 